You may have seen this in movies like Top Gun. Fighter jets dropping flares as countermeasures to avoid being hit by a missile. Indeed, this is one of the most effective countermeasures against missiles currently in use worldwide. These flares, as they are called, have a good efficacy in general combat environments. They divert the missile's focus from the airplane or helicopter directly to them. These flares are only to divert heat-guided missiles, as these missiles focus on the hottest region of an aircraft, which is always the engines. The flares, which are essentially tubes containing magnesium, zinc, and some other compounds, burn with intense heat, usually above 2,000 degrees Celsius. They are hotter than an airplane engine, and therefore they can attract the missile's seeker head, which is very sensitive to heat. This is all great for heat-guided missiles, but what about radar-guided missiles? Radar-guided missiles uses a radar guidance system to hit its target accurately, which means that flares are useless against them. The principle of operation of a radar-guided missile is relatively simple. These missiles contain a radar, a device that constantly emits electromagnetic waves and detects the return of these waves when they hit an object, in this case, an enemy aircraft. Here, it's important to explain the concept of radar signature, which refers to the characteristics of an object that affect how it reflects and absorbs radar waves. It's a measure of detection and identification of an object based on the characteristics of the radar return. In simple words, it refers to what the radar emits and receives back after sending waves against, for example, an aircraft. As was well demonstrated in the 1960s, it's possible to make a large aircraft like a Boeing 747 appear on radar screens as small as a bird. This is an area of study known as radar camouflage, or stealth, which planes like the B-2 Spirit rely on. By the way, we have a great video about the B-2 Spirit, link in the description. But even using this camouflage, a stealth aircraft can still be shot down by a sophisticated radar-guided missile. So how does an F-35 manage to literally disappear from radar? Initially, like all aircraft, they use chaff, an electronic countermeasure used by military aircraft to confuse radar-guided missiles. Chaff consists of small strips of aluminum, metallized glass fibers, or metallized plastic. These strips are released into the air from chaff dispensers, usually located at the rear of the aircraft. When released, the chaff creates a kind of cloud that generates a large number of radar echoes. It's as if several aircraft suddenly appeared in that location. This causes confusion in the missile's radar, making it difficult for it to distinguish the real aircraft from the echoes generated by the chaff. The goal is to divert the missile's radar attention from the real aircraft, causing the missile to collide with this cloud instead of the real aircraft, as chaff is made of conductive materials that are highly reflective. However, as technology advances, Modern missiles can quickly distinguish a chaff cloud from a real aircraft using advanced algorithms, calculations, and frequency changes. As the chaff disperses in the air, its radar signature also changes. In addition, the computers of modern missiles also calculate the speed of the objects. A chaff released in the air does not increase its speed. In fact, it's constantly decreasing, while an aircraft is constantly increasing its speed to escape from the missile. It's based on these data that the missile's computers maintain focus on the real aircraft. Here comes the mysterious device of the F-35B, which is dropped from the tail and stays a safe distance from the aircraft when necessary. This device has three levels of countermeasures against missiles. First, it acts when a missile tries to lock onto the aircraft. Then, the fighter's computers emit interference signals calculated by them and transmitted through a fiber-optic cable to this device, which then scatters them, trying to disrupt this target-locking process. If that doesn't work and the missile locks onto the aircraft and is launched by the enemy, the fighter's computers and this device begin to try to break this lock by actively interfering with the missile's radar. Finally, if the first two steps fail and the missile continues on its collision course with the fighter, this device begins to mimic the aircraft, directing the missile to it instead of the aircraft. Believe it or not, this works, and it's all done in milliseconds. This is what I consider almost alien technology because it's simply amazing. Although there is little information available about the details of this device due to it being sensitive military technology, its operation is quite incredible because it is essentially a radar emitter. 
This is just one of several countermeasures and active interference measures against radar-guided missiles that the F-35 family has at its disposal. But there are many others, both active and passive. For example, the F-35B looks like a relatively normal aircraft until you pay more attention and notice that all its access panels have serrated doors, not straight as they would normally be. The landing gear doors have serrated sides, the door that hides the stairs, and various areas of the aircraft are like this, especially the engines. We can see this same principle implemented in the B-2 Spirit Bomber, the most expensive aircraft in the world, in areas such as the air intakes of the engines. There is a reason for this, to reduce the radar cross-section. A serrated surface disperses the radar signal better than a flat surface. Therefore, to reduce the strength of the return signal, and consequently make the aircraft's radar signature as small as possible, the aircraft is designed so that when a radar wave hits a serrated surface, they break into smaller radar waves and also get dispersed to various different directions. But then, why isn't the entire aircraft serrated? First, physics doesn't allow it. Second, the aircraft is covered with a material that absorbs a large part of the electromagnetic waves. Third, if we look closely from other angles, we can see that this fighter has almost no part at a 90-degree angle. All its exterior panels have some angle to reflect radar waves in another direction. Even the vertical stabilizers are angled and not perfectly straight. This amazing family of fighter jets has several passive systems against missiles, but also active systems that actively interfere or directly counterattack missiles. But there are so many of them that it should be the topic for another video. If you enjoyed this type of content, consider becoming a channel member. Starting at only $2.99 a month, you can get early and ad-free video access, exclusive wallpapers, and a lot more benefits on higher categories. Choose the member category by clicking the join button below or via our Patreon. Thank you for watching.